We're in Michoacan, Mexico, and we're here for some crazy good food. We can't wait to get into the street food here and also sample a ton of traditional indigenous foods. The state of Michoacan has a vibrant and varied food culture. This is our first video from Michoacan and we're in the town of Pazcuaro. The food culture here is influenced by its indigenous peoples, its geography and has a unique identity. We eat corundas, a local staple, fresh fish from picturesque Lake Pazcuaro, stumble onto some killer tacos and eat the local specialty of pasta flavoured ice cream. In this huge Mexico series we'll show you some of the country's tastiest food, from rare indigenous recipes to delicious street food. You don't want to miss this series. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Pazcuaro is such a beautiful little town. What we're going to be doing today is just zipping all around the show and eating a bunch of street food as well as some really traditional dishes um, of this town and of this state. So we're just um, at our first stop for a street food called um, Uchepos. We're outside the basilica here. It's a really lovely part of town and Uchepos are a type of tamale which are indigenous to this region and they're made from fresh corn. We're just um, at the stop here and we've got the big pot, which usually signifies that there are tamales cooking. Hola, buenos dias. Is esto corundas? Corundas. Sí. And is, is esto uchepos? Tamales. Tamales. Ah, sí. All right, so I thought that the lady was selling uchepos, which is the tamal that I was telling you about, but she's actually just got normal tamales and also corundas. But corundas is one thing that we wanted to try while we were here, so we're going to order a couple of them. Dos corundas, por favor. Um, so corundas are another type of tamale, but they're a triangular tamale. Again, really uh, unique to this region. Gracias. So she's just got a whole stack of tamales and corundas in there. We've ordered a meat corunda. So you can see that it's a triangular shape. She's just unwrapping it right now. Oh, it's pretty hefty. It's really big in size. Wow, delicioso. Gracias. Si, sí, si, sí, gracias. So she just asked me if I wanted um, salsa and crema on the top, and I said yes. Perfecto, gracias. Si. The lady also has some atole uh, cooking up here. Atole is a. Ah, si. Um, una, gracias. So atole is a drink which is made out of corn dough. It's really thick. This has um, also got milk in it, I believe. So corn dough and milk, and it's a really thick, hearty drink that you often drink for breakfast or late at night. So we've ordered one of those. Gracias. Got our mug of atole. Let's go and get into the food. This is a really lovely atmosphere right outside the church, sitting under this tarpaulin and eating communally. So this is the um, corundas and I've been really excited about trying this. So what it is, is this um, corn dough which is shaped like a triangle, you can see, and then it's been stuffed with meat. What I'm going to do is just open it up for you to see. Wow, look at that. So it's got all sorts of meat in there and um, cooked in sort of maybe like a tomato and chili sauce. I think it might be pork actually. And then what she did was she doused it in the salsa and then also some crema, which is sort of like a, a Mexican thin sour cream. And then to wash it all down, we've got this atole, which is that um, corn uh, based drink. Let's just get into this corundas. So I'm gonna make sure that it's coated in all of that salsa. Mmm. Oh, that's really, really good. It's very spicy. It has a really strong chili kick. The meat is beautiful and tender. I didn't really get much of a bite of the um, corn dough there, so I'm going to get some more of that. Mmm. Mmm. The masa is really, really soft because it's been steaming away. It's just melt in your mouth. It looks beautifully with the salsa. Let's give this atole a try. Mmm. This is another thing that Pazcuaro is really famous for. It's atole. So it's water with um, a corn um, dough mixed into it. So it's really thick and creamy. And she said leche, so which is milk. So maybe it has a bit of milk in it as well. It's so sweet and creamy. Mmm, 
so good. So this type of food, as I was talking about, is traditional indigenous food of the Pura Pechen people. So Pura Pecha is the biggest indigenous group here in Patsquaro, and we're going to be eating a ton of their traditional dishes today. That was a really good start. So tamales are interesting because you generally find them in the morning and in the evening, but not in the middle of the day. So that was a great way to start our day. Now we're gonna go find a really unique street food for this region. Uh, we've got to find a bus though, and we have no idea where the bus goes from, but we've got to find the bus to get to a lake to get the street food. We managed to find the right collectivo to get us down here. So it's basically a mini bus. It's a van, you just pile in and they take you wherever you need to go. So we're down by the lake. So this beautiful lake and what makes the street food pretty unique that we're gonna eat now is it comes from the lake to the stand, which is right here. So this is pretty damn fresh. Hola, buenas tardes. So, pet ah, muchas gracias. So these are what we're eating today. So these are charalitos, which are the tiny fish from the lake right there. And this lady's got a ton of charalitos uh, um, cooking up in the oil, as well as some bigger fish. So I think we're going to order these small ones. Uh, una charalitos, por favor. Gracias. She's adding some Valentina hot sauce on top of them. Perfecto, gracias. And also some lime. And this is a really neat setup because she's got her big, um, frying pan, she's got a fresh fish and she's frying them up. Muchas gracias, senora. <laughs> Look at these crispy fried fish. Oh, they're gonna be really good. The ladies let me come up and have a go at cooking these little fish. So we've got ours covered in the hot sauce. Look at them just bubbling away in this really little thin layer of oil. She also does these big fish as well, which definitely look like a freshwater fish. So they have totally come from the lake as well. And these little guys that we're going to eat up now. <laughs> Muchas gracias. It's a really nice atmosphere down here. So all these long boats you can see parked up, they go out on the lake cruises, Bands jump on, there's some lovely music coming from that one that's just popped out. We've got our little snack. And while I, I find the why I find these pretty unique is that fresh seafood cooked right by the sea is pretty common. Like you see that all around the world. But I don't think I've ever seen fresh seafood from a lake being cooked right beside the lake. So I think that's pretty neat. So we've got these tiny little fish covered in some hot sauce. Let's just get that one because it's nicely covered in hot sauce. Oh. So Oh, yum. They were just floured, chucked in the shallow oil, fried, and they're really well fried. So they're, they're cooked right through. So they're, they're chips, basically. Oh my God. Mm, super crispy, nice and salty, nice tang from the, um, from the hot sauce. That is one hell of a snack. And I love that they come out of this lake. And this region of Mexico is stunning. You've got these amazing mountains all around you. There's beautiful birds all around here. It is a really neat snack and a really neat environment. Patsquaro is a really beautiful colonial town and it's really easy to navigate the central uh, historical district on foot. We're just in the Zocalo at the moment. There's beautiful music playing from speakers all around us. It's a really lovely atmosphere. We're now going to um, go to a restaurant which is really famous for traditional uh, dishes, pura pechen dishes. And, and as I was saying before, Patsquaro has a really strong indigenous culture. The pura pechen people have been well, the civilization has been around for a thousand years, so the food culture here is really strong. Let's go get some food. We have struck a bit of a problem. This happens sometimes when we're filming. That there is the restaurant, so we ain't getting in there. The, the restaurant's closed. So this does happen sometimes because Google uh, results for when places are open are just not true. So that one we cannot do, which is a real shame because we really wanted to eat those super traditional foods, but there's plenty more food in this town, so let's go find some more stuff to eat. We 
come to the local market to get some food. Now if you're searching for something to eat in Mexico, the local market is a really great first stop because there's always going to be little talk, uh, torta stands or taco stands and small fondas which are family run restaurants. Uh, we've had a little look around, it's not really the indigenous food that we were after but there's a really busy taco stand up ahead so we're going to go there. Uh, one thing, if you're after um, food just from any random street stall and you're not sure where to go, always go where the people are. This place is really busy so let's get some tacos. Two seats have just opened up at this taco stand. Oh, sorry, disculpe. Um, so we're just going to grab a seat in front of this huge pot of meat which is just frying up. I can see a chorizo and there's some onions on the side, there's uh, intestines, all sorts. Uh, dos chorizo, dos tripa, por favor. Gracias. Sí, con todo. So what I've done is ordered uh, two intestine tacos and two chorizo tacos with everything, which is con todo. Um, so you've got this big pot which is just filled with uh, lard and whatnot, and they're just the meat is just bubbling away. Uh, what you do is you sort of eat a couple, then order some more. Eat a couple, order some more. Okay, so look at these tacos. So we've got two chorizo, so two of the spicy sausage, and then two of the tripa, which are the intestines. And we got them with contoro, so everything on top. There's uh, onions, you can see coriander or cilantro, and then a red salsa. Um, to go with it on the side, there are these uh, slow sort of roasted onions. They're really, really tender, and then a squeeze of lime. And what's really awesome is that the tortillas have been bathed, just bathing in that lard. So you can see them bubbling away there, and they're just soaking up all of the meat juices and fat. So what I'm going to do is just grab some of this lime and stick it over the top, give it a good squeeze. And then this, um, this onion here is my favorite, so I'm just going to add that to my taco. So this is the chorizo taco. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. Muy rico, amigos. Muchas gracias. So good. The tortilla is a little bit crispy. It's got so much flavor because of that fat. And then the chorizo is really spicy. The onion is tender. It's the perfect mouthful. Look at this tripa one. So this is the intestine. So I love how it's all covered in the salsa already. Mm. Oh man. Oh. Oh, that is hella good. I love how those tortillas have got the fat on them. So they're nice and juicy. The intestines cook perfectly. This is a brilliant stand. I love these types of places because the environment is great. You've got it all going on in front of you. The smells of this cooking right here. The sounds of it cooking, the smells of it cooking. You order, it chucked in front of you, dive in while it's hot. Perfect. It's a bit cold and rainy in Patscuaro at the moment, but that's not going to deter us from our next street food, and that is Nieves. Nieves is a hand-churned water-based ice cream, and Patscuaro is really famous for a certain flavour of Nieves, and that's pasta flavour. This next spot has been around since 1905, so let's go and get a pasta-flavoured Nieves. Uh, dos Nieves, por favor. Uh, una pasta y... Una chongo. Sí, gracias. Dos. Muchas gracias. Chongos y perfecto. Muchas gracias. These nieves flavors look really good. We actually ordered two. Muchas gracias. So the pasta flavor and also chongos. I can't wait to get into these two giant cups of nieves. So we got the 
pasta flavor. Now the pasta flavor Nieves is famous in Pátzcuaro. People come from all around Michoacán to eat this flavor um, Nieves. So the pasta flavor is actually almonds, vanilla and cinnamon. So really looking forward to sampling that. And then this one here is the chongos. And chongos is a dessert made up of uh, curdled milk and cinnamon. You can see all those bits of curdled milk in there. So I'm just going to put the chongos one down and then get into this um, pasta nieves. You can see the consistency is so soft and almost icy. All right. Mmm, whoa, that is super, super creamy. Oh, the vanilla flavor is the overwhelming flavor. It's very creamy, sort of a little bit sticky almost. This is good. I have just tried that pasta flavor as well. It's unreal. It tastes just like condensed milk. It's very, very sweet, but very good. Now, time for this chongos, and this looks crazy. Look at all those chunks in there. So this is a dessert, a regional dessert, but this has been made, whoa, it's so hard. This has been made into Nieves, and I really like the little stand. Um, it's been really busy every time we've walked past it today, and when they're scooping the Nieves, you can see that the, the stainless steel cylinders that it's in are sitting in a bucket of what will probably be um, ice salt water, so keep them really chilled, and you see the buckets bobbing up and down as they scoop it out. Let's get this down. Whoa! Whoa! Mmm! Mmm! That's amazing! Oh! 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 oh. Oh, a bit of an ice cream headache. Whoa, that's incredible. So that that sits more on the dessert side than the ice cream side. It's texturally super chunky. So the curdled milk element has that cheesy element. It's got a little bit of bounce in it and it's thick. So a lot of it is that. I was expecting a little bit of that with a lot of the ice cream, but it's not. It's a lot of that curdled milk. The cinnamon flavor is very strong. On the sweetness side, this, compared to the one Sheena had, not even similar. This tastes like there's no sugar in it compared to that. There is a, quite a lot of sugar in it, but it's much less sweet. Super interesting. Let's get some more. Mmm. Oh, and there's big chunks of cinnamon bark in there. Look at that. I'll just get a bit with the cinnamon. Oh, and that's gone all soft. This is absolutely, utterly amazing. It's very, very good. <laughs>